Greg, first of all, congratulations, uh, a winner's medal at Berwick. Yeah, it's, uh, I think I've won Berwick three times now, so it's uh, pretty good. Just yeah. a different colour of top this time. <laughs> Absolutely, and it must have been tough for you facing Jed. Uh, I was saying to Stuart on the radio there that that's uh, one of the most emotional games I've ever played, I think, because I, like, I love Jed Forrest as a club, and it was really, uh, really tough, very tough. Absolutely, but of course, from a gala point of view, you're within eight points now of Melrose. Yeah, that's a, that's a massive thing for us. Uh, we had a disappointing tournament at Melrose, uh, but that's just been in two semis now, and we've won one there. So uh, definitely pushing for the, the Kings and the Sevens. So. And from the Kings' perspective, um, it brings things a lot closer, and it brings border teams back into the running. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you always want the border team to challenge, challenge for that uh, that title, and it's good just to get uh, Gala getting that win today. And the next few weeks are going to be huge for the for the club, but hopefully they can get a few more wins under their belts. So. Craig, winning captain, winner's medal at uh, the Berwick Sevens, and it, it brings Gala right back into the mix. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, we had a couple of tough ties today, and I think that helped a lot going into the final. You know, Morpeth weren't a bad side. Then a couple of close shaves with Watsons and Selkirk, and got the win in the end. So. Now Gala always on paper looks strong, but you never quite deliver on the pitch, it seems, in the sevens, which is always a big surprise. But hopefully you can kick on and uh, you know move forward up the table. Yeah, definitely. That's something we've talked about as well as a team um, in tournaments and stuff. We've just not clicked, we've not, we've not uh, worked for each other. But today, 
it just came all together. It was clicked, clicked a wee bit yesterday, we got to semi-final, but got all the way today. For Geller, obviously, it's been uh, very difficult times over yeah. the past month, uh, losing, losing the finals. You're obviously uh, back here uh, with uh, the team to, to meet Melrose again in the Board League final at the same place. But uh, obviously, this is a big boost for the club. Oh, definitely. We, again, we've talked about it. We need to bring Silverware back to the club. We deserve it as a club. We've finished, we've just not quite got there, uh, semi-final and second in the league, and we've deserved it as a club, so get the silverware, is brilliant. And as we know, in Kings of the Sevens, anything can happen. Uh, one team only has to lose in the first round, all of a sudden, you can be ten points away. Yeah, straight back in it, it's another thing. Uh, we've got another, what was it, five, six tournaments left, uh, so we're just got to try and kick on and get as many points as we can, hopefully challenge at the end.